Hello friends first of all thank you for watching this video tutorial, in this video we are going to discuss how to fetch data from MySQL table and load that data into Bootstrap tooltip by using PHP with Ajax query without page refresh event. First of all what is tooltip? In web development tooltip is a small bootstrap javascript plugin that pop up small message will appear if mouse over of any html element on which we have applied tooltip. In this video we can show that when mouse over on element then at that time one pop up message box appear on the screen with some data. This pop-up message box is Bootstrap Tooltip and it has been initialized by jQuery and here data is dynamic. This data has been fetched from MySQL table by using PHP script with help of jQuery and Ajax. By using Ajax we can load this type of data without page refresh event. With the help of this bootstrap tooltip we can display text message for particular element when mouse over on that element and by using this we can also load dynamic data into this bootstrap tooltip. This type of feature will added functionality of your PHP application and we can see some type of dynamic data into this bootstrap tooltip without opening of any web page. Now let us start writing code, but we have C database, this is our testing database and in this database we have one employee table with table column like id, name, address, gender, designation, agent employee image. In this table we have already inserted some data into this table. First we will fetch only id and name from this table and display on web page and other table data we will be load dynamically into bootstrap tooltip. In this application we have store employee images under images folder of our working folder. We will fetch employee images from this images folder and display under bootstrap tooltip dynamically. This our index.php page and under this page we have added CDN link of JavaScript library jQuery for using jQuery code on this page and we have also added CDN link of Bootstrap CSS framework for using functionality of Bootstrap on this page. This way we have added jQuery and Bootstrap on this page. First we want to fetch employee data name data on this web page. So for this first we have make database connection, so for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name is equal to local lost, username is equal to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select start from table employee order by id in descending order. This query will fetch employee data from table. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string which is dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write query which we have store into this dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into this query variable. After this we want to display this query result into HTML table, so here we have already create one table with two table column like it and name, so in this table we want to print employee table data, so we have write while loop open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result data to associative array and store into this dollar $row variable. Now we want to print data in HTML table format, so we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write to table data tag, in first table data tag we have print dollar $id, so here we have write echo statement with dollar $row array with key name it. This will print employee id in this table data tag. After this we want to print employee name, 
so we have right echo statement with dollar row array with key name name, this will print employee name under this table data tag. When mouse move on this any of employee name then at that time other details of that employee must be load under bootstrap tooltip. So for this first have put this employee name data between anchor tag, so we have right anchor tag with attribute craft is equal to hashtag class is equal to hover, it is equal to open and close php tag and between this tag we have right echo statement with dollar row array with key id. Here we will use hover class name as query selector and in it we have store employee data into this sit attribute. Based on the SID we will fetch particular employee data from table and load into bootstrap tooltip. After displaying employee data and named data on web page in HTML table now we have moved to write query code for activate bootstrap tooltip on employee name data with class hover. So here we have write dollar with query selector hover class dot tooltip method. This method will activate Bootstrap Tooltip plugin on this hover class element. We have in hover class we have write employee name. So when mouse over this element then tooltip pop-up message box will appear on we page. In this tooltip JavaScript method we can define some option into this method. First we want to define which text you want to load into this Bootstrap Tooltip. So here we have write title with fetch data. Here fetch data is query function and it will fetch data from my SQL table by using PHP with Ajax and this data will be loaded into Bootstrap Tooltip by this title option. In Tooltip we want to allow the HTML tag also, so we can also set these things into Tooltip. For this we have right HTML option set to true, with this option we can allow the HTML tag into bootstrap tooltip. This way we can set tooltip option as per our requirement. There is some more other option available as per your requirement. After load tooltip by JavaScript, now we have write fetch data function for fetch particular employee data from table and load that data into tooltip. So we have write function with name fetch data. Under this function first we have defined fetch data variable is equal to blank. In this variable we will store data which we have received from Ajax method and after this we will return the data of this fetch variable as output of this function. After this we have write element variable is equal to dollar this. In this element variable we have stored the hover class element data on which mouse has been hover by using dollar this element and store into this element variable. After this we have write variable it is equal to element variable dot attribute method with attribute id. Here we have store value of attribute into the sid variable and we have get it from element variable in which we have store hover class element on which tooltip pop up message box has been apparent in it attribute we have store employee data. Now we have write ajax method and in this method first we have write url set to fetch.php. Here we want to send request to this fetch.php script. Then after we have write method set to post, here we have set post method for send data to server. After this we have write asynchronous set to false, by default, all requests are sent asynchronously that means this is set to true by default. If you need synchronous requests, set this option to false. After this which data we have want to send to server, here we want to send it data send to server. And lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request sent succeeds and this function will receive data from server which we can get from this function data argument. So we want to store which data we have get from server into this fetch data local variable, so we have write fetch data is equal to data. This will store all data into this fetch data variable. This way we have store all data which we have received from server into this fetch data local variable. Now we want to return data of fetch data variable as function output. So we have write return statement with variable name fetch data variable. 
This way we have returned the output of this function and this function has been called from tooltip method title option, so output of this function has been stored into this title option of tooltip method. Now we have moved to write PHP code on fetch.php page. So on this page first we have write of statement with condition like set function with dollar posted variable. This dollar posted variable has been received from Ajax method and this condition will check value of this variable has been set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code otherwise no action will perform. In this if block of code first we have make database connection and after making database connection we have write one out what variable is equal to blank. In this variable we will store particular employee data in HTML format and we will store data of this variable sent back to Ajax method. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select start from table employee where it is equal to dollar posted variable. This query will fetch particular employee data from table. Then after we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable which is database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar query variable in which we have store select query. This function will execute query and store result into this result variable. Now we have write while loop open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar row is equal to miscly fetch array function with one argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result into associative array and store into this dollar row variable. In this while loop block we want to store employee table table data in HTML format. So for this we have write dollar output variable is equal to image tag with attribute source is equal to images which is folder name in which we have store employee image slash dollar row array with image key. This will display employee image. After this we want to print employee name, address, gender designation and age of employee so for name we have write dollar row array with key name it will print employee name for address we have write dollar row array with key address it will print address for gender we have write dollar row with array key gender it will print employee gender for designation we have write dollar row with array key designation it will print employee designation and for print age we have write dollar row array with key age. This will print employee age and store into this output variable. This way we have store employee data under this output variable. Now we want to send value of this output variable data to Ajax success callback function. So for this we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. This way we can send data of this output variable to Ajax callback function and via that function this data will be sent to Bootstrap tooltip and this data will be loaded into Bootstrap tooltip dynamically. So friends our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends we can see that employee data like employee aid and employee name on web page in HTML table format. So when we have move mouse over the employee name then at that time we can show pop up tooltip with employee details like employee picture employee name, address, designation, age. When we have move mouse on any employee name then at that time that employee detail has been loaded into bootstrap tooltip without page refresh. This way we can load dynamic MySQL table data into bootstrap tooltip by using PHP script with jQuery and Ajax.
In this system we have fetch my SQL table data by using PHP script and we have execute PHP script by using Ajax method and int query function we have used Ajax method and by bootstrap tooltip method we have called query function and so this way we can load dynamic HTML data into bootstrap tooltip. So friends if you like this video tutorial, please share this video tutorial with your friends and you can also share this video tutorial on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.